not so much here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, in the near term. And, and, and this is the, the thing that most people that have approached me over the years have said, I don't understand this Bitcoin thing. Why would I, what do I need it for? I go, you don't. You're an American, and let me yeah. guess, you have a bank account. Yeah. Let me guess, you got a piece of plastic in your pocket that lets you conveniently pay for things. Right. We also have a rule of law that's here to protect you in theory. You've got faith in the system, and of the 200 currencies in the world, we've got one that everyone wants more of. Right. It's not necessarily a product that's going to make you run out and hit the store, because for, for people to, to adopt a, a new technology or a product or whatever it might be you know, in mass in a short period of time, it normally needs to improve your life by an order of magnitude. Sure. And for most of us, it doesn't, unless you're a member of the 70 million on or under banked here in America that are sending money back to Mexico or India, the Philippines. And they love it. And we're starting to see that. The traction that I'm seeing in Latin America right now, Africa, Southeast Asia, or places with strict currency control laws like China and Korea, you're starting to see it. I mean, I, I just opened up a couple of presentations from portfolio companies today. And when you're seeing 1,000% you know, growth rates, you know, or 10,000% growth rates. Yeah. Uh, year over year. You, yeah, you're starting to get to, to exciting, and, and I'm seeing this kind of universally throughout those regions. And that's where the first real use case beyond speculation has taken hold, and that is cross-border transactions, because it is, in most instances, the fastest and the cheapest way to send money from this country to another. Mm -hmm. And that's because of a lack of interoperability in financial systems. Everybody, like we had 110 Power and 220 and all these different plugs, the world's financial systems are very similarly built similarly. Everyone has a different thing. And for that reason, between compliance and their technologies, the, the time and cost of moving money is very, very high when you leave your own nation. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Let me stop for a moment this amazing episode, and tell you about the Walker Corporate Law Group. Yes, they are a boutique law firm that specializes in the representation of entrepreneurs and startups. And Scott Walker is the founder of that company, and he is a personal friend of mine, and he does a great job working with startups. I have literally introduced him to dozens, maybe hundreds now, of startups, and they all rave about the services of the Walker Corporate Law Group because their lawyers have decades of experience. You're not going to get junior associates who are getting on-the-job training with your startup. No. They're going to help you with mergers and acquisitions, licensing, terms of service, privacy policies, formation, all this kind of stuff, fundraising. And they're really great at it. And they do fixed fees. They don't want to surprise people with crazy, crazy bills. They think that billable hours can reward inefficiency. So they'll just be fair with you. And that's what I love about them. Because if you're a startup, you don't want to get that sticker shock and get a huge, huge bill. Make sure you use the Walker Corporate Law Group, and you can do that by calling Scott Walker at 415-979-9998, 415-979-9998. You can email him, scott at walkercorporatelaw.com, or you can visit walkercorporatelaw.com as well, scott at walkercorporatelaw.com, and let Scott Ed Walker on Twitter know, at Scott Ed Walker, know that you, hey, you watch the program and you appreciate him supporting independent media like This Week in Startups, one of my oldest advertisers, one of my oldest friends in the industry. Just a great guy, a total mensch, and he really takes care of the startups who work with him. Thank you, Scott Walker, for supporting This Week in Startups. Bye-bye. Okay, let's get back to this program. Come on. 